the same energy. Not when your friends turn into memes. We'll never throw dirt on your name for real. Pray to God I don't let the anger build. Why you gotta hit me with the change up? Why? Talking Randy Johnson with the change up. Yeah. YouTube, what's good? It's your boy C Hendo. And I got something special for you guys today. And for me, this is a little different because I usually do interviews. I do do a few sneaker reviews, but man, I got something early for the first time ever. Team early, shout out to Team Early. The Jordan 1 Rookie of the Year. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. I'm not gonna put them on feet. I didn't lace them up and everything, but I'm gonna show you some details about the shoe. And before we get to that, shout out to all the sneaker YouTubers out there. Keep doing your thing. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Every once in a while, I may do a um, quick unboxing. Um, also, check out my radio show, Mo Sports Talk. And also, check out our, I guess you could say, sister program, sister station, brother station, whatever you call it, Euphoric Trip. Um, you can type in that in on social media. You can find those guys doing good comic book reviews and movie reviews. But other than that, definitely um, get ready for this unboxing and check it out. All right, before we get the shoes out the box, I do apologize for the light glare, but here it is right here, the Jordan 1 Retro High OG, Gold and Harvest, Black Sale. Of course, retail price 160, uh, with tax, you know, that changes. My size 11 and a half, so for anybody out there that got Jordan 1s in size 11, 11 and a half, mainly 11 and a half, let your boy know. So, obviously comes in standard Jordan 1 box, nothing special. All right, so here's the shoe. Like I said, man, I love this shoe, but we're gonna get to the quality and things about this shoe. As you guys see, it has a nice suede, whatever material you wanna call it, that suede. Love this suede, man, it's very soft. And that leather, of course, you see that tumbled leather. I know you guys can see the detail. Nike check as well, black swoosh. Of course, black Air Jordan logo. And we'll get to the tongue real quick. Um, tongue has Nike on the tongue. Comes in black and red, of course. It does come with black shoestrings, um, and it also comes with red. Man, I think the red is gonna be crazy for a lace swap. Um, I think you could do some white too. You know, if you can find you a nice white pair, maybe like that little cell colorway, man, that'd be dope. I think, matter of fact, the reverse shutter back boy, if I'm not mistaken, has those laces that I'm talking about that come in it. So, yeah, there it is right there, of course. Nothing special inside, but I will take the box, take the um, cardboard out of it. Uh, let's see. As you see right there, it does have Nike Air insole, of course. Uh, like I said, nothing special inside of the shoe, obviously. Um, just an overall great shoe for me, man, personally. I'm a big Jordan 1 guy. Till this day, I will say this, the 2009 Shadow is still my favorite Jordan 1 for its quality. I know that sounds crazy when people say, well, what about the band ones? I don't own a pair of band ones, unfortunately, but would love to have a pair. I have like literally 60 pair of Jordan 1s and don't have that shoe. But um, black bottom, like I said, very nice shoe, very nice detail. Like I said, that suede is, is crazy. So definitely, definitely, man, must pick up. Just showing you a quick unboxing, nothing crazy. Um, you can see the toe box right there. You can see that leather, man. That leather is nice, man. Very soft, very soft leather. This is, man, to me, this is probably gonna be one of the better Jordan ones that have came out in a few years. So like I said, I like it a lot. Has a good thing to it. You know, obviously Jordan won Rookie of the Year. But real quick, there is a few things in our I won't say hidden on this shoe because I just, obviously everybody has seen it, but inside the actual lace, they have some quotes there. And obviously Jordan was rookie of the year that year, but I'm going to read this to you. This award is nice, but I just feel it is very important for each individual to go out and contribute to his team, MJ. So obviously that was a quote I'm assuming from the press conference when he got the award. That's dope. Little details like that is dope. And then, of course, not only that, on the other side. It gives you his stats from the 1984-85 season, obviously Rookie of the Year, 2,313 points and 28.2 points a game. I mean, obviously, he's arguably the greatest player of all time, no doubt. Um, you know, not naming Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, LeBron James, or whatever, but we won't get into that. That's another day, another story. But dope shoe, man. Like I said, definitely pick up. Um, the other shoe pretty much has the same thing, I believe. Um, yeah, same thing, Rookie of the Year. The quote, this is a dope shoe, y'all, so definitely, definitely a must pick up. All right, YouTube, once again, I appreciate you guys. Are you guys going to be copping this? 
I don't know the numbers on this exactly, but man, like I said, I'm very lucky to have this pair. Definitely one of my favorite theme pairs of shoes for the year. Um, has a good theme to it, different colorway. Good quality on this shoe. I'm gonna look at the other sneaker YouTubers, see what they say, but for me personally, this is a pickup. If you're a Jordan 1 person or a Jordan 1 fan of the silhouette, you gotta get this shoe. This is a dope shoe, y'all. Like I said, I'm, I love the laces, the different hint of the red laces, but definitely you can do a couple other different laces for this. Dope shoe, y'all, so leave comments. I want you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I will be doing a lot of different interviews with athletes. That's what my channel mainly is for, but I also talk sneakers with the athletes and celebrities, so appreciate you guys for checking out my video on this, and like I said, subscribe to the channel. Peace.